Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are at the Shekou Ferry Terminal and Cruise Center here in Shenzhen and I am going on a little trip on an airplane. And so I'm going to go to the Hong Kong airport here from Shenzhen and I'm going to show you step by step how to actually do that because some people have asked me about that. I've uh, made a few videos here recently in this neighborhood and uh, some people asked, well, how do you actually use the ferry terminal, blah, blah, blah. So that's what we're going to do today. It's very, very simple, very easy. Um, first things first, to get here, you take uh, the subway, most convenient way, or you can take a taxi, of course, or a bus. Um, but probably if you're a foreigner and you can't speak Chinese, can't read Chinese, best way is to just come to Prince Bay, Taizu Wan, Dite Jan, subway station. And you come in here, and the first thing you want to do is you want to just kind of make your way here to the left. And you're going to go to the second floor. This is if you're going to the Hong Kong airport. There are other things you can do here, like uh, different cruises or different destinations. But if you're going international, best thing to do is just follow this advice. So if you know how to use WeChat Pay, uh, that's the easiest way to buy a ticket. You just use the WeChat Mini program. You buy your, your boat ticket, 280 RMB. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, of course, there's also a manned ticket booth here. And that's where I'm going to show you what to do right now. So you come up the escalator on the left side and you make an immediate U-turn right here. Hang a little left. And up there on the right, you can see that is the ticket window, ticket counter. There's usually a little bit of a line here. Not usually too long. So your first step is to get your boat ticket. So you buy that right there. If you've already got a ticket, you can also use these machines right here. Scan your passport or use your verification code, your confirmation code, and it does have English, so you just go English, pick up ticket. You can also purchase a ticket here, but you're gonna need WeChat most likely, or uh, Union Pay, which you probably do not have. So you pick up your ticket here. Of course, you can scan your QR code if you have it. Um, you can use your passport, that's certificates right here, or you can use your transaction number right here. So certificates would be your passport and you choose your destination, Hong Kong Airport, and you scan your passport right there. Easy. So after you get your ferry ticket, you just come here to the airplane check-in, just like an airport, right? Very, very easy. You make sure you find whatever airline you're taking. The biggest mistake I would say that people make is they don't check to make sure that their airline is actually like supported by this ferry terminal and the um, check-in here at the, at the ferry terminal because not every airline that departs from Hong Kong can be actually uh, checked in here at the at the ferry terminal. So that's why you should probably check online, check on WeChat. When you actually buy your, your ticket on WeChat, it will ask you what airline you are and what your flight number is. And if it's not on there, not listed, then you can't buy the ticket. So obviously if you can't get your boarding pass here, you can't get on the ferry, you can't go to the airport. So <laughs> check that first. You need to make sure you get here at least an hour early because check in for your flight to pick up your boarding pass it ends uh, 45 minutes before departure and you have to go through customs and immigration to get on the ferry because you're leaving China to get to Hong Kong, mainland China. And so, and that closes half an hour before the ferry. So make sure you get here in plenty of time. Uh, it's not like a full two hours before your departure, but at least one hour and probably more like one hour 15, one hour 20 would be even better. So it's obviously not a lot of people here. I'm uh, behind only these two people in line, but you know, still gotta make sure it might take a little while. You never know how busy it's going to be. So once you have your ferry ticket and your boarding pass, your next stop is to just turn right around and head to the left. And that's where you can find the departures for uh, the airport and for international uh, trips because that's where they have customs at. So that's just over here. When you're facing uh, back to the city, it's to the left. When you're facing towards the water, it's to the right. Uh, very, very easy to find. You can see Hong Kong Airport right here. Check in, check in, check in. And this is just right here. They check your information. So a big advantage of actually taking the ferry to the airport instead of um, taking a bus and crossing the land border and doing all that stuff or taxi. In my opinion, it's, lo it's a lot more chilled out, a lot more relaxed. Um, you can be sure you're going to get there on time, already have your boarding pass. Even check your, your check your bags here as well if you have checked luggage, which I don't have, but they check it all the way to your plane. Um, but you can also come here and chill out. Like they got, you know, KFC, they got Starbucks all up here on the top floors, um, but I don't, I don't have time for that. I am going to go check in and go through customs. So right now I'm actually going to go through customs and I won't film through there because you're not supposed to. So I'll check in with you on the other side when I'm getting on the boat. 
All right, and once you get through customs, which is right behind me, and I'm not allowed to film there, but once you get through there, you just very, very simply follow the pathway to your destination. So as you can see, there's option for Macau, there's Hong Kong, and there is a cruise, and there's a Hong Kong International Airport. So these are the options for international destinations currently. Here's duty free if you need to get some alcohol or some perfume. And we're going to the airport, just this way. Very, very easy. The boat ride should take about half an hour. And once we get there, all we gotta do is go through airport security, which is a different airport security from the main one because it's on a completely different side of the airport, basically. Um, so again, not so many lines, not long line at all. Like, it's just the people from the boat. So very, very easy, very, very quick definitely the way to go if you are going to the airport in Hong Kong from Shenzhen. So immediately after you get off the boat, you go straight to airport security right here. So that was very, very quick. And then once you're done with security, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the tax refund desk. So that's just straight ahead here. And I should be able to get like 110 or something Hong Kong dollar. I forget, but you have a, uh, let me find it here. When you're in Shenzhen at the ferry terminal, they give you this tax refund receipt. So. There you go, your refund coupon. There you go, 120 Hong Kong dollars, which should be something like, um, I don't know, 15 US dollars. I haven't checked the uh, exchange rate recently, but hey, not bad, you can buy some lunch. And then after that, down the escalator and onto the airport train and off you go your gate. So this is the Hong Kong International Airport departures terminal and it's actually quite good to see there's people here because I came here a few times during COVID and it was just a complete ghost town. Every shop was closed, there was nobody around, nobody transiting, nobody waiting for planes. And uh, it's really, really nice to see things are open again and people are moving about. It's certainly not anywhere near where it was prior to COVID, but at least it's something. So I just had a little bite to eat and I'm almost at my gate. It's almost time for departure. I hope that this video kind of maybe has helped somebody out there in order to figure out how to take the ferry from Shaco, Shenzhen to Hong Kong and get on an airplane. It's really not difficult, it's really pretty easy. And like I've told you guys many times before, it's a lot of information in English and Chinese people are very helpful. So if you still can't figure it out, just ask somebody, they will help you for sure. And now I'm about to set off to somewhere new. So you'll see where I'm going in the next video. Goodbye.